All right, I think this is. This feels like this should be the last episode of Dark Room and Six Romeo and Juliet, but we'll see. I guess we have a flaming torch, a glove, pike inlay, and a handkerchief, and we're playing Mercutio. Mercutio Capulet, I guess. We have all the scrolls, but we're missing four coins and one mask, and I really hope that we're gonna get it all. So we'll see. Uh, sandpaper. Regular flowers need water. I guess this one needs lava. I can't open it. Maybe I can just dissolve it. Well, not like that, apparently. Not the kind of creature you reason with or bribe. Many animals are afraid of fire. Maybe this one is too. Oh. That's the point of the torch, then. Oh, no. Don't make the field with, f with fire tokens. Choose a token and select the high- Oh, no. I hate this game. Oh, I'm so bad at this. This game. What I won? Fifty to fourteen. Damn, that was pure luck. I should not have won that. Now I have only one beast left to conquer. Francesca herself. Three gemstones are missing. Of course they are. Oh, okay. Sure. Uh, why the schizars? Oh wait, can I sandpaper this? Oh, I can. Cool. Need something thin to stick into the gap and lift the false bottom. None of that. Ugh. Rotate the crystal so the light from each circular gemstone reaches a triangular gemstone of the same color on the right. Press and hold the crystal to rotate it. Oh, okay, but you can't actually move them, though. Oh, this looks like horrible, but also not. Wait, can I actually make it stay like that? Ah, no, I cannot. Oh, wow, the controls are... Annoying to say the least. It's like I get that you could you could have have them any way you want, but it's like it's actually kind of annoying that it just bounces around. Oh, it's so like precise. Okay, I hear the sound. Hope that means it's good. <sighs> oh, great. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, okay. I. Can I make it stay there? Yes. Okay. Um, red? Wait. Oh, there was like that little millimeter. Oh, God. Wait, come on. Please. Oh, thank you. Oh. My, look how brave you are. What are you waiting for? Come closer. Save him if you can. Okay. But no. Vanished, she think 
she might think she outsmarted me, but I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. The figurine fell off. I need to stick it back on. I should clean up this mess first. That seems to be what Mercutio does. It's already damaged to the point of no return. Might as well shatter it. Yeah, I mean, kick it then. Nope. Okay. Wait. Uh, I should be extra careful around these sharp shards. Removing them barehanded is dangerous. Is he saw? Uh, if only I could grapple my way to the top. I wonder if this could be a hidden object seed. I don't know if I feel like doing the scene, but I guess. What is locked there? Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to chop. I saw something around here. Okay, oh. There we go, found the chain. Alright, grapple hook it is. Well, that took us like a minute. Yes, the last mask. Yes! Okay, coins. Not here. Uh, all this wax is keeping me from opening the drawer. Something goes in this slot. The question is what? I think the missing pieces on the padlock weren't just decorations. It's reinforced, so I'll need the key. A magic altar can be used to charge this sword so we can cut through any magical barrier. This information might be useful for later. Indeed. Two pieces are missing. The fox goes here. Oh, hello. Use the fox to grab the figurine on the top right while avoiding the trap. Select a hole to move to. The fox can move into any adjacent holes. Some holes lead to other holes. Oh, I see. You have to, like, figure out where to go. Statuette. No, we still can't get magma. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, okay, I see. Oh. Okay, now I have no idea where to go. Oh, okay, in here we can do something. I guess? Oh. I can't pluck the feathers without damaging them. I need to use more gentle a more gentle approach. Oh, okay. I need to unscrew these bolts. Alrighty then. Let's go get ourselves some lava for the flower. Yes, a bucket of lava. Seems very safe. Let's go. Thank you. Oh. Cool. Oh yeah, that is true. That is a thing. Drag the acorn through the labyrinth to the exit at the bottom. Is this, a is this an acorn? The sound was still there. Dragon inlay and herbs. Oh. All. Recently, I have learned that I have a daughter. I should feel something, but all I feel is the pain of losing Alberta. They took her from me, and they will pay for this. Gaspar. Wow. He was too consumed by his hatred to notice the damage to his own child. Indeed. Where are the last four coins? I was like, no puzzle? Yes! No. Remove the padlock by using the arrows in the center to mark all the unoccupied squares on the board. Oh, okay. Oh no, I did that wrong. I still think I can do it like this. No, I can't. That is obviously the point. I know, I know. Oh, does she think if, if he gets his revenge, then he, Gaspar, will like try to, will uh, like care about her again? Like she'll get her, she'll get a dad? I'm not so sure about that. A good place to set something on fire to get a hot ember. Here, I have some herbs. Burning herbs. Indeed. Oh, okay. 
Oh, one of those puzzles. Hello. Oh, one part is missing. Oh, I see. Where are my last coins? Are they all here? Yes! We got everything! Yes! The lock on that looks like it could be easily picked. Interesting candles floating inside a... Um... I'm not sure this is supposed to be here, but uh, nice that the candles are like looking through. In the hallway I saw a sword that supposedly breaks any magic barrier. True. True. Oh, hello. No, no, no. I could have done that better. Oh, well. Down here, then. Oh, there are actually two left. Alright. Now there's one left. There we go. Guess bar's amulet. Okay, then. Guess that goes here. Thank you. For the magic sword. We have like this really like honeycomb coin and magic sword. Just like okay then. Yeah, no, we need to do the ritual thing. Ah, uh, yes, I see. Um. We can actually go back here. Oh, that's amazing. Basement. Here we go. Surprising amount of game left. Here we go. Okay. We need to follow that. Start like this. This is not getting us anywhere. Um, no, because we really need the red to get out of there. <sighs> but that's the problem, we can't. the green is stuck like that what if we okay yes but I want if we stick the blue up there instead that's a lot better um, I think then we will have space to do this here we go. And this will be in the way. Okay, we can do this for now. Okay, the red needs to be on the other side. I don't know how we do that. Oh, wait. No, 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 that's not gonna work. Well, actually...
I guess we have to do this again. Yes. Ta-da! Those puzzles are fine, usually, actually. I'm surprised that I'm so okay with them, but I am. Uh, tongs. Tongs for here? Yes. What are we burning? Candles? Yes. Alright. Where's the other rune, though? Down here. Aha! Hello, have some wax. Thank you. Okay. Rotate the circles of the symbols on the sections. Mash the symbols on the chips. Select a circle to rotate it. A section will highlight when positioned correctly. Rotate in one circle. May rotate others! Yay! Okay. move them around oh no okay they are correctly positioned you just need to like okay but this should work after a while right like because it moves forward and backwards oh actually this one just moves itself okay there we go you haven't Yet. You sure? Thanks, Mercutio. Now, let's hurry to Juliet. Thank you, Mercutio. You saved us both. We owe you our lives. You're a dear brother and a friend. I just hope that this is the last we hear from Gaspar and his family. Mm, you did well. You know, you have a lot of talent, young man. What would you say to being my apprentice? You make an excellent magician. Oh ho ho ho! Congratulations, you completed the game! That's, I'm, I'm kind of like, oh, we're out of time. We should do like a separate episode for the extras. And then it's like, I don't know if there's enough for that. But we do... Oh, the bonus chapter's in here too. We do have reading to do. Which is why I'm like... I would just make this long. Alright, let's go look at the masks. Mercutio. Mercutio. One of the main characters in William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. Mercutio is a relative of the Prince of Verona and the best friend of Romeo Montague since, since childhood. Oh, okay. As with many inhabitants of Verona, he had an explosive temper. Sounds like a great place to be. Mercutio was killed by Juliet's cousin, Tybalt. The fight on the street was provoked by Tybalt. Romeo wanted to avoid bloodshed, but his friend Mercutio was killed. Before his death, Mercutio utters a curse. A plague on both your houses. They have made worms meat of me. Yorick. The character from Shakespeare's Hamlet. Once he was a royal jester. Hamlet digs up his skull in the fifth act of the play and addresses his famous monologue, To be or not to be, that is the question, to Yorick's skull. Romeo Montague. Romeo Montague is the protagonist of William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, a romantic enamored young man and a representative of a noble family in Verona. Initially, the hero is presented to the reader as a naive young man in love with a lady named Rosalind. But then Romeo meets 14 year old- oh my gosh, he's actually 14 years old, that is- and getting married, whatever, it's- oh, that's- If she's getting married 14, I'm sorry, that's creepy. That is creepy, you're underage, just no. But then Romeo met 14-year-old Juliet Capulet, the daughter of a sworn enemy of his family. His love to Juliet is quite different, not empty infatuation, but a feeling that transforms Romeo from a giddy youngster into a serious adult. Oh my god, please don't tell me he's like 22, because like, that's... I, I know this is like, oh, this is 400 years ago, but that's like, actual, like... 
Okay, she's 14, but she's underage. That's basically pedophilia. Like, it's definitely on the edge there. Like, if he's if he's overage, just no, no. That is gross. Ew. Miranda, a character from William Shakespeare's The Tempest. Miranda is a naive 15-year-old girl stranded on a desert island with her father, Prospero. They became hermits because their uncle Antonio took the throne. Oh, are they royalty? One day, because of the storm, the Neapolitans, among whom was the young Prince Ferdinand, got into a shipwreck and ended up on the island. Duke Prospero, a magician, sends Ariel, the spirit that serves him, after Ferdinand and arranges things so that the prince and Miranda fall in love. Preparations for the wedding lead to, re to the return of the Duke and Miranda to civilization. Wow, that is an intricate plot if I ever heard one. Juliet Capulet, the main character of William Shakespeare's tragedy Romeo and Juliet, Romeo's beloved who committed suicide after his death. Image of Juliet forever left its mark in world literature, and to this day her tale is a standard of romantic love and devotion. Se seems over the top to me, but okay. Ophelia, in Shakespeare's Hamlet, Hamlet's beloved is the daughter of Polonius. Polonius uses Ophelia to find out Hamlet's plans. After Hamlet accidentally kills Polonius, Ophelia is so shocked by the death of her father that she loses herself. Well, I, d I never realized Shakespeare's plots were so, like, much. Which, I guess, they're, they're long, the plays, so, like, it makes sense, but, like, just reading a summary, just, like, does it ever end? Tybalt, one of the main characters in William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, Juliet's cousin. Tybalt provoked a brawl that resulted in the death of one of Romeo Montague's friends, Mercutio. In revenge for the death of his best friend, Romeo kills Tybalt. From this point on, the Capulans, Capulets begin to hunt Romeo. Othello. Othello, the protagonist of the tragic play of William Shakespeare's Othello, The Moor of Venice, is a famous military leader at the service of the Doge of Venice when he falls in love with Desdemona. She goes to a distant garrison with him. His servant La Iago starts an intrigue, as a result of which Othello started to suspect Desdemona was cheating with one of his servants. Overcome by jealousy, he kills Desdemona. That sounds amazing. Then commits suicide when he learns his wife was innocent. Wow. These people all got some hel unhealthy relationships going on here. Ghost of Hamlet's father. In Shakespeare's tragedy, Hamlet, his father comes to him as a ghost, eager to avenge his cowardly murderer. Upon their first meeting, Hamlet takes him for a messenger of hell, but then he realizes that this is really his father. I mean, could he be both, though? After that, Hamlet takes on his father's thoughts of revenge. Caliban, one of the main characters of the romantic tragic comedy by William Shakespeare, The Tempest. Shakespeare managed to extraordinarily vividly convey the character of a rebellious servant representing the wild force of nature. Topics related to Caliban, a victory of man over the destructive forces of nature. Now we have Laertes, the character of Shakespeare's Hamlet, Ophelia's brother and the son of Polonius. He is a classic and typical arch enemy. Laertes challenges Hamlet to a duel armed with a poisoned rapier blade. In the course of the match, rivals accidentally exchange blades and Laertes dies from the poison of his own blade. For his death, he repented his of his crime. I am justly killed with mine own treachery. Yeah, of course you repent it when you're the one who's dying from it. Okay, that's all. Uh, we got wallpapers. I like Leo. She was cool. I can't read Romeo, he, he just looks over the top to me. I'm just like, oh my god, please, the cringe. Uh, music. All the minigames. Here are the scrolls. Alright, let's see what they say. Oh, they're about... Oh, it's all the shake. Oh, the... Well, all. He... A bunch of Shakespeare plays. Othello. Have you said your prayers tonight, Desdemona? Oh, they're like... S uh, citations? What's it called? Romeo and Juliet. She outshines the other women like a white dove in the middle of a flock of crows. I'm, uh, actually, crows are more intelligent, though. I'm just saying. Well, in the way that humans measure intelligence should be pointed out. The Tempest. Me, poor man. My library was dukedom large enough. 
Midsummer Night's Dream. Love looks not with the eyes, but with the mind, and therefore is winged Cupid painted blind. Okay. The Merchant of Venice. And it is marvel he outdwells the, his hour, for lovers ever run before the clock. Hamlet. To be or not to be, that is the question. Are these, like, some of the most famous lines from the plays, I guess? King Lear. Come, and if you get it, you shall get it by running. Okay, or some lines at least from the place. Julius Caesar, men can be masters of their fate, indeed. The Merry Wives of Windsor, we burn daylight. Okay. Richard III, so wise, so young, they say, do never live long. Macbeth, come what come may, time and the hour runs through the roughest day. Twelfth night, I have them at my finger's ends. And much ado about nothing. He wears his faith, but as the fashion of his hat, it ever changes with the next block. Okay, I think that was all right. Do 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 yeah. And we have concept art. Bonus chapter, here are the achievements. Finish five and object puzzles in a row in one minute each. No, 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 no. Quick travel only once. Huh. Watch the credits to the end. I don't even know where the credits are, but we're definitely gonna go look at the credits. Oh no, that's- oh, okay, yeah, that's this. Okay. Because we haven't seen the credits, so. Okay, let's buy everything in the boudoir now. Wedding cake? Oh, is that her wedding gown? I could never have something that's so low cut. It's probably not low cut. Like to me, it looks really low cut. I would, I would never wear. <laughs> I could never wear that. Uh, I would feel really uncomfortable. But it looks cool. It's not for me. Ta-da! Does everything in the boudoir? Okay, where are the credits? We need to watch the credits. Uh, here.
there we go. So everyone who worked on the game got their spot, so to speak, on the screen. Uh, good. So that would be everything, right? Main game, bonus game, looked at all the extras, we've seen the credits. I don't know what more game takes us to. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, so... Uh, they've done the Mystery Tales games, Labyrinth of the World, Curious Society. We are playing those. Um, and then Dark Romance. Yes. And mis yeah, Mystery Tales. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think that's actually everything. So, thank you all very much for watching and sharing this game with me. Um, yeah, again, I... Oh, I think that the first game of this series was the most unique one, and now they're a bit more mainstream, which isn't necessarily bad. Just like... I would have liked some of the features on the first game to still be here, like you can change characters whenever, and you can buy different UIs, but I get if like it's a bit more difficult for them to do the whole like switch characters whenever thing, but um... This one had some weird- I don't know what was going on with some of the puzzles. I- that was weird. I don't understand if it's me not understanding, or if the instructions were completely wrong, or like whatever was going on there, but... Like, apart from that, it was like, solid gameplay. Um, I mean, I'm always gonna comment on like, in-game logic, but like, it is what it is, right? Um, I'm not like, super interested in- Romeo and Juliet story as such, but, um, but yeah, cool. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much, and I'll see you for some other adventures, so take care of yourselves, and bye-bye.